I remember having to talk to a financial advisor the first time, and he's like, so what are your plans? And I was like, I don't have any. <laughs> and he's like, well, what do you want? To, like, what's your goal? And I was like, I guess I don't really know. <laughs> like, he's no, like, no. A turning point in every movie. Like, what do you want this money for? And I was like, I guess I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back. I don't know. <laughs> do you want it? <laughs> Welcome back to the episode brought to you by Pirate Water P Dubs. We're in Vegas. This is the drink of the world. This is the drink of the century. This is the drink of Las Vegas Pirate Water. We got four flavors. My friend Grace to my right is going to tell me exactly what they are. Oh, I'm going to tell you exactly what they are. Number one, we got Sex on the Beach, yes, right? Sexy. Number two, we got Margarita. Yep, sexy. Number three, we got Bahama Mama. I like that sexy too. All right. And the fourth one, coming in live at. <laughs> Uh, Miami Vice. Miami Vice. And Dude, I forget about Miami sometimes. Yeah, it's just you like know? not always on Grace's mind, but it's on mine. It's actually probably my favorite flavor. I really like the red one. The red good. one, yeah. It's a 10% ABV malt beverage. It's a big boy and it's cheap. It comes in all those flavors. You can get it now at drinkpower.com or you can go to GoPuff or you can get it at Walmart. Let's go. All right, welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut. We got the boys back in the house. Dude, it's been a long time. We were trying to figure it out. So we had two know. years or one? Uh, one and a half. I just looked it up. Oh, okay, okay. I, one knew and it. Half. I knew yeah. it. Was somewhere I, in the I was going to almost say the opposite in the sense of like what a difference a year and a half makes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. A year and a half ago, we were doing our podcast and we just made you guys come to our hotel and At just Universal. do it in a bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I would never dream of asking you to do that now. <laughs> like, I was like, the girls will just come over and we'll just, like, sit in these robes. It'll be fine. <laughs> Imagine if we did that now. I wish we would have this. I know. It would be perfect. <laughs> yeah, you guys would still do that. I just would never, <laughs> ever invite you like that ever again. Uh, Times have changed. I know. Very, very different. Now we're in Vegas. Why? Don't know. Why? I don't know either. <laughs> like, why are we so here? We, in, in years <laughs> gone by, Super Bowl week was like, I gotta do Two podcasts, the live radio. We're gonna do this this branded content. We're gonna go here. We're gonna do and this year it's like we have two podcasts and a couple of radio shows and that's it. It's very and also <laughs> in years past the Patriots were in it and like it was more of a bar stool. Very thing. This yeah. Is the yeah. Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why we're here and we have <laughs> no like two interviews here. too. It was like scraping teeth to get people on the podcast. Dude, we have one interview. It's Thursday night, so it's not gonna come out during Super Bowl. And you're in Vegas <laughs> for a whole week. That's fucking terrible. Yeah. No, but I, there's also something about bar stool Super Bowl week. I think if you're a part of it, it's a good sign. So yeah. it's a little bit of a status thing. You know? I remember yeah. like that. I, again, I don't think you guys w- would need it at all, but it's it's a good Barstool thing to be involved. We got the status. Well, in the in the summertime, I really I saw how it looked fun last year. Like it looked like you guys were having a, like a good time. Where was last Where was year? Arizona. 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 Mm-hmm. Arizona was pretty good. Yeah, and it it looked like like there was a lot of like fun stuff to do like outside of the Super Bowl. So in the summertime, they're like, you guys want to go to the Super Bowl? I was like, yeah, yeah, we could do like Barstool, not the sports. So we're just like, I thought maybe we'd throw a party while we were here or something. Well, that's the other thing. So, yeah, listen, <laughs> this is the first year post pen. Things are different. Like, we used to throw a huge party that was almost like the last good Super Bowl party. Like, Super Bowl parties used to be a very big thing, and then they kind of died down or became very corporate. And the last place that was doing, like, a real party was us. Ah. We would get, like, a musical guest. Uh, we like Shaq and Guy Fieri. Yeah, and we do drugs with celebrities. Guys, right? <laughs> like, no, no, but they, they, they were like, <laughs> there were there were some bigger names, but there was also like these weirdos that would come through, or we did a rough and rowdy. So like, there's there was things throughout the years that were more of a spectacle. This year is way uh, cut down to the point that I'm like. Mm, we probably didn't need to do this. Yeah, yeah. we, could, we could throw happy. a party yeah. in this room. Yeah, for it's sure. Sweet. We and wanted it, to. You want to throw something out the window? Yeah. No. That's well, that's yeah. it. <laughs> we want to. Okay, that's don't, these are I mean, there's, suicide there's a bunch of chairs that. in that be- on the bed, and I saw it, and I was like, I don't know. My gut instinct was like, let's throw this out the window. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wonder how hard it would be to smash those windows. <laughs> I bet pretty difficult. I, I right? think they make it yeah. pretty. Especially hard. we're yeah. talking yeah. about. Because you're gonna lose it all, and like this is the. I think this is the place where you need to make sure windows can't get open. Yeah. Mission Impossible is pretty realistic, and there's one movie where Ethan Hunt has to kick it three times. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, so we'd have to kick it like seven. Yeah, like, oh yeah we could get it done. Are, Are you, you guys... wearing heels? <laughs> oh, I can oh, tie. forget yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> One shot. Are you guys partying? Um, yeah. I, I choose to party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I volunteer. I, I, I would totally party. party. Like last night, we, we got here, and I'm like, all right, we're in Vegas. Who wants yeah. to go out? 
crickets. I was like, well, ah. you guys have been on West Coast time though, right? Or were you? Did you come from New York? No, I was in New York. You were in New York, oh, I, I, dude. Yeah. This is the first time again. This is probably a testament to our old age. I got here, and I was zapped, bro. Dude, I, I, was... I slept for eleven hours straight uninterrupted last night. It was <laughs> wow. sick. It's like that a shit. first time in years. You wake up, it feels <laughs> yeah. like you're, you came out of a coma. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow. I went to bed so early my first night. I woke up, it was still the same day. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. Uh, <laughs> <the> worst. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? It's 11.25 p.m.? <laughs> you go to bed? <laughs> Fucking four? Dude, uh, we, we wrapped up at four. I went home. I got in my pajamas. I called my kids. I wrapped up. I was like, all right, time to tie a bow on it. It was 4.45. <laughs> I was like, I ended up making myself stay up, but I could have gone to bed. Fellas. Four. That's only seven New York time. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's crazy. I, I kept saying I'm jet lagged, and I was like, Jeopardy's not even on, bro. <laughs> it's not that big of a jet lag. Like, no, at I know. All. It's not. I, 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 like, whenever I travel, jet lag never bothers me. And this one, I just, maybe I was just tired. Maybe you guys just getting old. We're just old, bro. Yeah. We're old. Yeah. I know yeah. I am. Yeah. But, but I, I, I mean, I never have done bar stool. Uh, at your age, basically. No. So being at the level you're at in Vegas right now, I feel like you guys should be going crazy. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But you've party. also been going <laughs> hard for like I feel like I years. have to stop. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she's leaning towards retiring from the partying stage, and I'm just not ready yet. And no. it's kind of tough. Like, <laughs> yeah. I need my buddy to party. Yeah, yeah. Party <laughs> solo. Yeah. It's a tough I go. I just like, can't party anymore. I don't know. It's not fun to me anymore. I'm like, I did it for so long. Yeah. I just want to fucking go but home. But how old are you? 24, almost 25. Yeah, right? Yeah, you yeah, got, right. you got, you got uh, six more years in you. Dude, I, was, I, was I say can that, literally dude. can. If you were like, yeah. like I, I can party, but like I can't do the six nights in a no, row anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and that's, that's what she wants that's, to do. Yeah. I can't do that. Well, hey, that's, that's not true. That's I just compromise, want to party. ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I just truly want to party whenever I can get it. <laughs> Meet in the middle and you know go out three nights. Hmm. Yeah, it's reasonable. <laughs> be. Dude, I don't care. I don't like it anymore. It's crazy. Like switched to. I switched up. Good for you though, because I feel like when you started. I mean, when you started, it was it was like hungover TikToks, right? Yeah, dude, then, that's where it got fucked up because I was yeah. the hungover one, and then it turned into you're the party one, and it's right. like, no, I'm hungover for I, a reason. I don't want to <laughs> get up and party again. And then it was like, no, keep partying and partying and partying. Right. So it got it got twisted, and I was like, I'm yeah. not the party girl. I'm the sick one. I was never boot rally. <laughs> right, ever. you would think the the girl who just wakes up in the morning being like, let's go again. Yeah, yeah. no, I was like, I got your head I in the could, toilet. I could boot rally like a was, motherfucker. Wasn't it like culottes? Not culottes. It was Dunkin' yeah. Donuts, right? Blue raspberry culottes from Dunkin' Donuts. Blue, yeah. Because those were the only thing that made me feel like not hungover. I think that and they were like, they were like, just keep doing booze. Like, no, this is a culotta. Dude, account. it's <laughs> like a literal culotta account. Like, no, party, party, party. The very first TikTok I ever saw of her was her throwing up. Yeah. Oh, the blue. <laughs> Dude, no, that was that was when I was already at Barstool. Oh yeah, but my it, first one was me hanging over the toilet, being like, oh, yeah. I think they call it a hangover because you can't stand up straight. It's just vomiting everywhere. That is crazy. Like a, it was great. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try to party in Vegas. Oh, that's you huge. We're, yeah. oh, we're gonna, <laughs> gonna do mushrooms Thursday if you want. Oh man, on that. Uh, I can do oh, that. Did, did you get, uh, I, I got okay. I was gonna I, I got a bunch of offers too. Yeah, I can do that every day. Yeah, you get. Let's let's take all of them. Who, who, yeah. yeah, I got I got a couple. I got some guy just being like, I have a bunch, and I I don't. He goes, I don't want to do them with you. I just want to get rid of them. Oh, 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 well, that's we'll take them, we'll take them all, take them all. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. That's so like, awesome. I was like, I don't. This is like a stranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I don't like them, and I just want to get rid of them, so I'll give them to you. I was we, like, oh, perfect. Sir, oh, wow. I had actually a couple of Barcelona employees reach out. Like, I got mushrooms on me, and I was like, what the fuck? Uh, but then, <laughs> and I was like excited. I was like, fuck yeah! And then they like their chocolates, and I was like, I want mushroom mushrooms. I'll do both. I don't care. But uh. Are, we, are we talking like the Amsterdam mushrooms? Yeah, like mu like I want to eat a mushroom. Like mushroom mushrooms. Last yeah. time I did that, Caleb gave me a bag of mushrooms. We were in Reno. Oh yeah, dude. I <laughs> ate the. He was like, here. <laughs> I ate the whole bag of mushrooms. I won what four thousand dollars on craps. Yeah, she woke I was up the next blindly day. playing. With, I fell down a flight of stairs. I, my <laughs> arm was like dislocated, but I had like thousands of dollars in my hand when I woke up. And I texted the group chat. I'm like. What the fuck happened last night? And there was like a crowd around me playing craps. I don't know what craps is. Dude. And I fucking, dude, shrooms are the best. So I'm with that. Dude, I, I had quite a very different experience. I lost everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm on shrooms and I'm trying my phone died and I'm trying to ask people if I could borrow their phone to call Brianna. That's the one number I know. And uh, I go up to these ladies and say, Hey, can I borrow your phone? No! Get on 
out of here. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I was on shrooms, so I went up to them again by accident. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, I was, they go, we are going to call security. You're trying to scam us. I'm like, I'm not trying to scam. I, I, I can't deal with this. This is too much. That's fucked. Oh, I started we, seeing stars. We were in Amsterdam, and we went to one of the, like, the you know specific spots that sell them. They have all like the ratings on the wall and all the different styles mm. and we got like a little sherpa who like gu- guided us through and gave us all the guidelines and all the rules and john threw every single one of them out the window uh-huh. he did like uh-huh. literally the exact opposite <laughs> he was like don't do it on an empty stomach don't do it with this don't do it with that and he was like bam 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 <laughs> and i picked them all up right away <laughs> i mean we, we went to a casino on a wednesday afternoon in like the outskirts of Amsterdam. Oh my oh, fuck yeah. It was the most depressing thing yeah. I've ever <laughs> seen Dude, in my life. Dude, casinos are so sad. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, Especially and so, on the outskirts of, right. in like the and we didn't realize, anywhere. We didn't realize <laughs> yeah. it was a weekday. We, we It was when Bert just like called us on a whim to go. Oh, so that we, was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I know. Yeah. That yeah. Was so awesome. Cool. That was the last time I like really party partied again because I was like, and I didn't even really go that hard, but I was like, all right, I gotta, I gotta come out of retirement for that. I would, uh, but, uh, I would have never probably looked at you guys the same if you ever said no to that yeah, yeah. I, 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 I would have like if i if it would have killed me i would have said yes to that that would have been insane to turn that down but uh we went to that casino and it was like nobody was there they tried to not let bert in because he wasn't he had like sweatpants on and <laughs> in 11? the most polite way we all were trying to be like this man is going to spend so much money here right now. Like, look around at the clientele. Just let this guy in. And then, yeah, we got in there, and, and John was puking up mushrooms. Nice. Bert, I think, I think we, we, like, threw down. Bert wanted to, you know, he said uh, it, it was um, the Chinese New Year. The color is red. So he's yeah. like, we got to get to a roulette table and put a big bet on red. Oh, I like and I was, like, trying to, you know, play a long big shot with him. So I think I, like, put down whatever he put down, which is obviously a lot. It's hard playing catch up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like we like. I like instantly lost a few thousand dollars. John threw up and we left. And I was like, awesome, Perfect. great trip to the casino. Were you guys Real tripping cool. balls? Uh, no, I picked it up before anything could happen. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, it was it was pretty Pussy. quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like they were like, "Don't take it on empty stomach. Don't take it drunk. When you take it, like eat some of this chocolate with it." And I took it. I hadn't eaten in two days. <laughs> I was definitely drunk. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't have any chocolate. Like, like, it was like, I had it. And I went, okay, time to start trip. And before I could finish tripping, it was like, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, I, no, like, I could feel my mouth know. start sweating. And I was like, oh, boy. That's the and worst. And I, I came really close to throwing up on an old Asian woman. Like, oh, <laughs> no. She was this big. Oh. And I watched her, like, you know, John was, I think, like, kind of rushing to get to the bathroom. So he started to kind of like hurry up. <laughs> scurry. I think, I think she, yeah, he was scurrying. <laughs> exact perfect word. And I think she thought like, I don't know what's going on. This this man is like chasing after me. So she started to scurry. Oh, no. <laughs> and and with the ladies in the phone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, no. like, oh man, it was so good. <laughs> the first, but it was pretty. It was though. pretty slick. Like, yeah, I, I, I put mean, it. I, I like. I like fucking Kobe did. <laughs> it was like it, it shot. Was, I like landed it into a trash bag. Yeah. Oh, if nice. if like the gang hadn't just turned around. You would have got away with yeah, it, yeah. but like they no just happened to see you, <laughs> and uh, they were cool about it. They were like, "How's your boy doing?" And I was like, "He's fine." We talking about he's fine. They're like, "We all saw it." <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't never but throw up. <laughs> also, he, he was wearing his onesie, bell bottoms, yeah. red jumper. So like, okay, oh, casino epic, middle by of the, the week. <laughs> to miss, dude. He was. You were on fire, John. That was dude, quite the trip. I, I just went to Amsterdam, and we were like, we need to do shrooms, but we were driving. A tandem bike around, so it was me and Zach on a tandem bike. I've and never we're seen like, a real one in real life. <laughs> I could, I can't believe we did that. I was like, dude, this is hard. It was. I was in the back. I was let him. I was like, I wasn't even looking. I was just like, looking around. and we we go to find shrooms. It was kind of hard for us to find shrooms. I don't know why. Really? Yeah. But was, then, I mean, we went to that one store that was very like. Well, yeah. we were like driving the bike, and then we just see magic mushrooms. We're like, oh, maybe it wasn't that hard. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like we were driving a long time on this bike, and we go in, and it was this dude. But he he was like taken, but not Liam Neeson. Like he was like the bad guys in Taken. And we go in, and he was like, I tried to pay with my card. He's like, No, we take fucking cash only. And he was saying like, Fucking, he's like, fucking cash, Jesus fucking Christ. only. Go to the fucking ATM down the fucking street. Oh, shrooms was are like, supposed to be one love. Whoa, right? whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Wrong business. And then I was like, All right, okay. I like had to listen to him. <laughs> I go to fucking ATM down the fucking street, and I take out a bunch of cash. I go in, and we buy. What were your shrooms? Were they like in this like freeze dried yeah. container but were, thing? But they, they were, were wet. Ours were right? wet. Yes, ours yeah. were wet yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like the. I think it's only like twenty four hours, right? They don't. Those don't like. 
Yeah, I last, think so. You gotta like you gotta it's like fresh them. mushrooms oh. and they don't yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's oh, like freeze like dried shit like you can wet. put in a bag and like keep They were forever. wet. This yeah. Was, like, and they were like there was like levels, like the whole thing yeah. where you pick them, it was crazy. Yeah. And then we just got on our bike and just drove around Amsterdam <laughs> listening to the same song for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fucking awesome. What song? <laughs> Lawyers, guns and money. Pop pop. It's a banger, you gotta check it out. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best day ever. But I didn't like trip balls. I kinda wish I did. Dude, the the first time I ever took mushrooms, I was like with my friends in the woods and i didn't think i was tripping or anything like that mm. and I, it was like 3 a.m and i woke everybody up <laughs> to be like guys come outside you can actually see the curves of the world <laughs> here and they're like you fucking asshole you think you're not tripping right now <laughs> is this a thought you've ever had before Dude, then look. you're tripping <laughs> Absolutely tripping. That was like us. Dude, the first time we tripped, we were like, we're not, we don't feel anything. <laughs> and tell them what we were fucking doing. All right. So we, we sat on our fire escape. We lived in like a wicked small apartment in New York. And we sat on our fire escape and one side was hell. The people were walking towards hell. One side was the good side, but it was also the, the, the time warp side where they came out and they went to the 80s. Oh, yeah. Time. yeah. We were like, dude, we're not tripping. That's a vampire. That's a werewolf. And, and they're going to hell. And there was this one guy who was walking right towards hell. And we said, mm, that looks like a bad gas. <laughs> <laughs> it looked just like gas, but he had knee pads on. And we were like, dude, bad gas is up to no good. So now every time we see someone that kind of looks like gas, we're like, that's bad gas. That's bad gas. There's good gas. There's bad gas. <laughs> It is weird when you're like, to, to think you're not tripping while you're sitting there being like, Jesus looks like Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> not but wrong. I, I came up to your, your spot like a week after the the Earth Curve yeah, yeah. event. And I was, I finished the night, uh, I was sitting Indian style in the middle of the tennis court. <laughs> and I was just staring at a light where the moths were like flying. But I was doing the same thing. I was like, I, it's not working. <laughs> and I was just staring at moths for like 30 minutes. <laughs> that's, that's why shrooms are kind of sick though. Because you don't get scared really. Oh, You're just like, well you When I to. first started. I, 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 I still have never nuts. had one of those full blown like seeing the devil and seeing I've never got time scared, travelers and yeah. stuff. Never got that I got some, you know, if all the things that I keep locked away up here come out, I don't know. Yeah. That's what was happening. That scares yeah. me a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I got medicated. Now yeah. I love trips. That, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> when people talk about Shout ayahuasca. Shout out SSRIs. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That shit's lit. <laughs> Have you guys done ayahuasca? Uh, like that's no, something that's you, something you, I'm not. Uh, yeah, see, I, I, I might kill all. myself. There are, people are always like, yeah, you, you know, you get like all your your demons out, and then you like throw up for twenty four hours, but it's awesome. And I'm like, so the sick. first part of that sounds pretty prohibitive. I'll bum out on know. that too. Yeah. What is yeah. He likes to puke. I kind of do too. Yeah, bro. Like when I feel sick and you puke, you're like, well, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. But when you're tripping on something, you keep throwing up. No, you, that's you don't terrible. feel. You don't get the feel. You but but going. I think it feels like. You're releasing, yeah. and it's like yeah. sick, yeah. but yeah. I don't it's know. Powerful. Yeah, it's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't end. I think the last time we did this podcast, you guys said we, you were gonna do ayahuasca together. I would, I, would do do, I would do it. The only reason I'm not doing ayahuasca right now is because it's not on the table. <laughs> <laughs> you can say about any substance in the world, dude. They the only reason I'm not doing it is because it's not right there. <laughs> I could call a guy. One call. <laughs> I wonder if you could do it in Vegas because you can I mean, do it spot, in, in like Florida. Yeah, yeah, like you can yeah. just go. To, I don't want to do it in Florida. No, I want to no. go to like. Like yeah, if I'm doing it, nice I want to go to like yeah. where do they do it? Like you could go to like a it's like a clinic almost now where they you know you can go to like the fucking middle of the desert and do it, but you can go to a place that's like nice and they do it for like for real, that like I a job. Get that? If yeah, you've done like, that you haven't done Iowa. Yeah, yeah like, I want like a show in the woods. Doctor? What do they call it? Mother in like uh, Brazil. They all see the mother. Uh, Mother Ayahuasca, I think they call it. Everybody oh. sees the same woman. That's why. Oh everyone, yeah, yeah. That's why everyone thinks it's something like spiritual. I think it's just like. You You're all taking the same drugs. Yeah, that's true. And then uh, and people, when they do DMT, they see the elves. That sounds yeah. horrific. Yeah. Oh, like, have you guys like done DMT? Fucking... No. My, one of my ex-boyfriend's dad, he was <laughs> like, this was crazy. And this is when I was like, okay, I don't know if we should be doing this, me and you. Because like, he would just do acid like on a Tuesday and like, trip forever. And I was like 19. But his dad <laughs> used to put DMT. He would take jewel pods, dump the stuff out, put DMT in the jewel pods, 
and just walk around and rip DMT. What? It's awesome. And he was like a regular. Like, you broke up with his son? <laughs> <laughs> Should have proposed. <laughs> it was fucking nuts, man. I was like, what am I getting myself into? He was like, had a great job, made a lot of money, the dad. And I was like, wow. <laughs> it's rich people. They, they want, you know, they want to yeah, feel I'll, something. Let me tell you something. Rich people do a lot of drugs. They do. Yeah. You think that they're like straight edge for some reason? No, they're not. Just the rich people have drugs. Just yeah. one thing you have to know before you meet my dad. He's constantly dying. <laughs> 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 He's a little jumpy. <laughs> you know that feeling you get right before death? My dad has it 24 <laughs> So just know that going in. Let's go to <laughs> oh, oh, fucking crazy. Yeah, I don't know about DMT. What, know what, what else is crazy is my uh, my dad just started doing ketamine treatment. That's huge. And it's done wonders. Everybody's doing that, yeah. Like, it really has helped him so much. And it's crazy because he was such an anti drug guy. He, he is Toby Keith, basically. Maybe he rest in peace. But if you can picture Toby Keith, that's my father. <laughs> like a wannabe hillbilly from the north. Yeah. <laughs> so he was like it's anti-drug. Awesome. <laughs> it's crazy. He got Where a hat. Where from? But, uh, but, but not Boston. Because that's lying. Rockland. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know where. I knew Massachusetts. Yeah. I just get tripped up because I usually say Boston, but not when someone's from Dude, Boston. One yeah. time I was in fucking Salamanca, Spain, and a bartender asked me where I was from. <laughs> and I said Boston. And this kid next to me goes, Whereabouts? And I was like, I fall river. And he's like, that's not fucking Boston. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I'm talking with Spanish bartenders. Like, yeah, like, fuck like, you. It's the area. Is what I'm, <laughs> I'm from Fall River. I'm like, yeah, what do you guys say, Fall River? <laughs> I still can't believe you're from Fall River. <laughs> Why? Uh, Fall River. Like, when I think of Fall River, I think it's because one of my cousins was like in prison and lived in the bad <laughs> yeah, side of yeah, Fall yeah, River. That's most of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like you, I'm like, you're not I Fall know. River. <laughs> I, I got so tripped up. I knew nothing about Fall River except for him. So then when I found out what, it's just like Portuguese people and like deadbeats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. Yeah. Yeah. It's insane. I'm like, yeah, and then fuck the Fall River <laughs> Crazy. Uh, but I interrupted you. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. I don't know where you I was talking about. Dad dad therapy. Oh, my dad's doing ketamine ther- therapy. I don't know. Um, it's just changed his life. It's just changed his life. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, he was an anti-drug guy. That's what I, I was going. Mm-hmm. And he started doing this. And it, it, For it's like mental like health shit? Day. Or just so my dad had an um, accident. He like, when the lights go off in the city, he was the guy to put them on. So it was like a high voltage um, electric Zap. shock. He like yeah. died. Sorry, his mom. He said all that, all that jazz. Wow. Yeah. How so long was he like DMT guy, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> DMT guy. That's that natural high. <laughs> He's got a almost die first. His dad's really about DMT. <laughs> but that's about it. <laughs> He's done, he does K. <laughs> but yeah, my dad's uh once a week goes in a K hole. Better for it. Hell yeah. So wait, so he's not like microdosing every day. It's like it's he, like a uh, once a week treatment dosage. Yeah. And he goes in and um I don't uh, he probably wouldn't want me to say this, but he he brings his phone in. You should see the text he sends me while he's doing it. It's, <laughs> it's incredible. It's yeah. incredible. It's, it's sweet. It's in the innermost of his thoughts that he never was able to get out. But it's, yo, that's <laughs> right. probably good for an Irish guy yeah. from New England. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's probably like, I haven't, I've been wanting to say this shit since 1970. That's how yeah. it starts every text. He's like, I wanted to say this my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> just, we just fucking push it all down. Yeah. My, uh, my, I, my, I just saw American Fiction. I don't know if anyone here has seen it, but mm-hmm. it's very good. It's really, really good. And I recommend it to my parents, and my, they went to go see it. And the mother in it um, has dementia. Mm-hmm. And she says some things that, like, innermost thoughts. My mom called me after, and she just goes, if I ever get anything, if you ever see that look in my eye, push me out a window. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary. Yeah. She said, like, I don't want to tell you anything I have locked up. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> ladies, ladies, let me tell you something. If there is if there is a woman you should aspire to be, it is Polly Petalberg. <laughs> she is such a gangster. We called her just yesterday. John remembered a story where he ate three full pineapples as a kid to the point that he got sick and his tongue started to swell God up. God damn it. So he calls Polly and he's like, just to get like the details of the story, he's like, hey, mom, remember that time I ate so much pineapple as a kid? I got sick. And she's like, oh, boy, yes, I do. And he's like, did you did you like take me to the doctor? And she goes, she goes oh, no, no, no. But I, I was not very big into bringing you to the doctor, John. <laughs> oh, my God. We called, we called her, we probably called her like, Half a dozen times on the show, <laughs> when John remembers like a injury or a accident or something he did wrong, and Polly, it's always like so crazy, and Polly's like, "Yeah, that that happened," and, like, <laughs> and we didn't really care, we didn't do anything about it's it. It's nice to be able to confirm it though, because yes. these stories are so insane. Yes, yes, yeah, she's a nightmare always... child. Oh. I'm not a nightmare child. Well, she's a nightmare mom. <laughs> how, I was a child who liked pineapple. I was a good kid. How 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 old do you think you were? 
or maybe you know the answer, when your parents started leaving you alone in the house? Oh, too oh, wh- young, sadly. What would you, what would be your number? Four. Yeah. See. <laughs> yeah. 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 You exactly. Too. <laughs> she she she. The way John described it, it was like they took the the younger baby out for a walk, right? Yeah. And left him sitting on the stairs. Yeah. Just looking at the front door, waiting for it to open for yes. them to come back. Mine yes. would go to work for 12 hour shifts <laughs> and be like, just lock the door. Your sister might pop in and say hi. And I would just be like, I remember grabbing knives, being like, someone's going to kidnap me. <laughs> and just hiding on the stairs until they came home. It was Maybe fucking that's where crazy. You're, like, when you check the curtain every time. Maybe I'm that's so where that's yeah, where probably. I'm. Yeah. I always thought I was going to die. See, I don't do any of that because I've accepted it. I, I accepted <laughs> death and loneliness at four years old. Mm. And this is Sick. what you get from Pops. that. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Having kids myself, like, if I left my kids alone at four, right? And it's a different time now and everything, too, so, like, there is a little bit of that. But if I just bounced and just left my kids in the house You're a couple years ago, I would go to jail. Go to jail. I know. You can't do that. No. <laughs> it's crazy. Not do that. You can't do anything. Like, like I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine my kids being like, all right, we're going to go for a bike ride and just, like, go. Yeah, you do that all the time. I know. I, I, like, I, I know where my kids are at like every single second. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm be either a helicopter with them or, or know somebody's with them or whatever. But I used to go like just out and be like, we'll come back later. Gonna ride our bikes, be gone for hours, and it was just like, cool, go ahead. And I think there's, a, it's that's a good thing. I wish there was a little more of that. But it was also kind of wild how much parents were just like, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> go fucking do <laughs> whatever do you it. want. You think you'd be a helicopter parent? I think so. See, I, th- I think I, I thought because it goes one way or the other. I feel like yeah. either I'd be like, because what it taught me is like, it's going to be fine. That's yeah. so true. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're you're, you're going to yeah. be fucking have a glass of milk. You'll be fine. Totally. Yeah. And 99.9% of the time. I'm fine. Yeah, I was fine. I was fine. I was to go to the hospital a little late. <laughs> <laughs> I never got hurt. At least you went. <laughs> What's that? At least you went. Yeah. yeah. The, the, I've been at the one time the doctor was just like, where have you been for two? I had like three broken knuckles and like oh, God. the <laughs> the only reason I went to the hospital was because I was He was fighting a, the intruder. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking a Scantron test at school and I couldn't bend my hand Dude. to hold the pencil. <laughs> and I was trying to fill in the bubble. Pencil stuck like that, and my teacher was like, "What is happening?" Yeah, imagine being a teacher like, being like, "Oh, you uh, have to go to the different class." My, yeah. <laughs> so my teacher said to me, the infirmary, and the infirmary was like, "You can't close your hands. You have to go to the hospital." And the doctor was like, "Where have you been for two weeks?" And I was like, "Home, mostly." <laughs> and like, and no one cared. I, mean, I don't think I brought it up. I don't think they brought it up. It was just my hand hurt a bit. <laughs> I always oh want to run it back real quick. How old are you? You said infirmary. So I went to boarding school. John, like, John lived oh. like John was like oh, t- a time traveler. Like, the <laughs> they, threw you. they were like boarding school. <laughs> fuck this guy. See That's you crazy. later. <laughs> I'm my thing is I'm not I'm not like a uh, helicopter parent or like I know they're okay. It's not that I'm worried about them. I'm worried about getting in trouble. Yeah. I'm nah. worried about like worried about your own ass. if something if 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 I'm the absent parent or the lax parent and they get like hit by a car, mm-hmm. it's like I know that's not gonna happen. But like if something hey, happens, it could. it's on my watch. <laughs> fuck, hey, it could. I, then I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, like they might be dead, but also I'm in a lot of trouble. Uh, <laughs> this sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I always think about jail. that in movies where like, and, and I understand if it happened to me, it would probably ruin the relationship. But like. Where one parent's like, you weren't watching them. It's like, yeah, they were swimming in the pool. What do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, you, do you do a couple <laughs> of checks. You weren't there. <laughs> I don't know. They jumped. They were playing with their friends in the pool. I wasn't watching them the whole time. Maybe you should have taught them how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> Drowning's embarrassing. <laughs> Drowning. <laughs> that's Yo, like, huh. If your kid drowns at an age that's like not really young, it's like. That's Bro. on you and yeah. them. Yeah. 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 He couldn't, Are you guys he couldn't gonna wiggle his arms and legs. Throw your on. kids in the pool like as babies, infants. I've you seen that. that. It's I didn't insane. do that. That that weirds me. Out. <laughs> I'm like, like, that's some weird shit. You're never yeah. gonna have kids. I mean, I might have an accident. But <laughs> <laughs> I have a little accident. I can't predict the uh, future. I, <laughs> <laughs> it, I think John's a good example of someone who's just like I don't think it's for me, and that's okay. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I, I've t- I've t- we've talked about it a lot, so Kevin's like hearing a lot of repeated stuff. But like every morning, I'm like. I feel like I'm supposed to have kids, but I don't want to. And <laughs> I, I great... keep waiting to be like, I want a kid, and it just doesn't happen. Mm, that's fine. I kind of feel that. I've never really <laughs> had like a motherly instinct in me. Mm. Yeah. Oh. I'm, a, I'm a child myself. You don't have I'm like, I'm yeah. like, I, like we've talked and also, about it's way more responsible to like not recognize that yeah. and then not do it. Yeah. Because if you don't have it or want it, then don't do it. Yeah, because then your kid's going to be like me in fights, like sad. It's <laughs> 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 like, damn, I'm a bad mom. I, I remember having to talk to a financial advisor the first time, and he's like, so what are your plans? And I was like, I don't have any. 
<laughs> and he's like, well, what do you want? To, like, what's your goal? I was like, I guess I don't really know. <laughs> like, he's no, like, no. Turning point in every movie. Like, what do you want this money for? And I was like, I guess I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need this. Take it back. I don't know. <laughs> Do you want it? <laughs> take oh, this. Take this. <laughs> you are such but an idiot. But then you went to 40 colleges. Such an idiot. <laughs> oh, that's insane. I, it's got to be pretty cool to, like, all the money you make is just for you. <laughs> that's tight, dude. That's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. That is pretty, like, 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 if you don't have kids, you can make, like, a hundred grand and be like rich. <laughs> you don't need to make a lot of money if you don't have any kids. <laughs> like you just live in your life. It's, it's like your money. There's really. just not that like you can you can pretty within reason you can do like whatever you want. Yeah, like Hello Fresh six nights a week. Yeah, and, what uh, a what a baller. Watch. Wow. I go to movies a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Explain this to a financial advisor. Like, do you just need an AMC Stubbs card? <laughs> <laughs> Make that happen, buddy. <laughs> Are you on the A list? <laughs> like, seems like all you need. <laughs> you know every word to Nicole Kidman coming out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fighting always had a sidekick. Smoke. Oh. But we hate that guy. Oh. That guy stinks. I hate smoke. It burns your eyes. It makes everyone cough. <laughs> yeah. It's no good. All right. Then Solo Stove comes along and pulls off a miracle by kicking Senor Smoke to the curb. All right, Brianna, are you, are you following? I'm crying. I'm so excited. Yep, that's right. They made a fire without smoke. Wow. They're trying to tell that to the cavemen. Tell that to a he- uh, friggin' superhero. Put in terms we're more familiar with, a regular fire with smoke is the butt fumble and solo stove is the helmet catch. We're all familiar with that. No more having your hair and clothes smell like burnt logs. No. They come in different sizes, but the most popular and our personal favorite is called Bonfire. It's a great size for backyard hangs, but also super portable. Did you catch that? Super portable. portable <laughs> Making it perfect for tailgating. They make some really cool high heat ceramic coated colors too. Plus a bunch you tickled me. <laughs> tickle me. Tickle me fancy. I'm going to buy this. <laughs> Head on over to solostove.com and use promo code Barstool 20. That's Barstool number 20 to get 20 bucks off 199 or more and ditch the smoke for good. <laughs> no, I'm actually on the other side of that now where I, I've seen so many movies and I and I do I uh, don't worry, I am an AMCA listener. <laughs> um that like when people get excited now, I'm like rookie ball. Yeah. <laughs> I've been here for years. <laughs> I'm ready for the second one to come out. She, she said she's filming it last year at the Oscars, so <laughs> should be at any time now. <laughs> you guys kind of are living living the dream though. Yeah. I mean yeah, we're trips kind of, to Hawaii, yeah, we have no random kids. trips to Paris. It has been sick lately. Yeah. You guys are doing it right. Like I've always said, I, I wonder what it would have been like to have this level of bar stool at your age mm-hmm. with no kids, with the money, with the popularity and all that. And I I like to think it's like what you guys are doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's pretty sick. The it's fact, sick. The, 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 the random just like go just on a whim, go to another country, go do something crazy. I think is the best way to live your life. At this I know. Age. I want to travel because that's the more. one thing. Yeah. If you do have kids, or if you do just like slow down, you don't you don't do that. Dude, shit the kid, spontaneity shit like just done. goes away. So do it now and mm. do it often and do it big because it does like you can't do anything. It's irreversible when you have a child. And you die. Yeah. Right? yeah. You die. So I always think about that. Yo, like, it's I so want crazy. Them, you you just give up your thirties and your forties. And probably even like some of your fifties, and people are like, "Yeah, but like then when you're, you know, when you're done, like you do it early and you'll be done, and then you can like have fun." It's like, "Yeah, but I'll be fucking sick." Yeah, yeah, you don't want to do it early. I don't give a shit you about lose any- all the early years, but yes. then as a woman, you can't. Your kid's gonna be fucking That's special sucks, needs though. if the you have fu- them. So it's the, like, the, what the hell? The goddamn clock fucks everything up. Yeah. Cause guys can just go do it later, but we gotta do it earlier with the girls. It's like, fuck, man. Why do we have to do this so early? And then all your good years are like gone. When, maybe when I'm in my 60s, I'll like adopt like a 12. You could pull. You that's could pull sick. A, you, could, you could get like a, yeah, that's a, a young little De Niro. thing. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> De Niro had a kid. Oh, but I don't want. No, I don't want a baby. I want. I'm, I want something I can pop. You want to just cut. Yeah, to that's the, the thing. That's the cool part about having kids. <laughs> you want a when friend. It's older, <laughs> it, it is your friend when you yeah. get older. Like yeah. that's the cool part. Like that's like the result. Like yeah. Once you're done with all the bullshit, 
You got a built-in buddy. Yeah. Yeah, right. but you want to like shape it so it's your buddy. Uh, yeah. Like, if you just get a 12 year old off the street, he's he like, might try to murder you. you. I think that's actually. Always return him. Get a 12 year old is. <laughs> you I always f- said I would um, foster, <laughs> foster kids, and like just have some little shit. And live my own movie where I'm like, I'm badass. You're going to be badass. You just have to respect me first. Yeah. <laughs> that little thing. That's cool. I respect that. Yeah. I like I that. respect that game. That's I watched, fun. I watched Four Brothers this morning. Um, Mark Wahlberg, Andre 3000. It's a classic. Yeah, it is. And uh, <laughs> that was like, that's what the mom was in that. Yeah, she was yeah. The, a foster mom who they were the four brothers. Yeah, who was this? Tyrese, Mark Tyrese, Wahlberg, Wahlberg, Andre, and, and um, Garrett Hedlund. That's a kind of an odd man out. I only remember I because I, I saw the song. Yeah. Was, that's his name. That's right. Um, <laughs> kids are kind of cool when, uh, like, Keegan's playing sports right now. Shay is doing gymnastics and dancing. And when they start to do when stuff. When they're busy yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, like, they're both they're both good at it, too. So it's fun to go watch them kind of, like, dominate But they can't, mm-hmm. they can't, like, take care of themselves yet, right? No. And by take care, <laughs> I mean, like, 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 can they live their own life? Oh, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I throw them an iPad now, and it's like. See in four hours. Like I could do that. That is yeah, so but, sick. Okay, can, how about this? can they create their own activities other than iPad? Are they happy to like go in the yard and play basketball and a little bit? That and... that's where I, I think we were better. Like you just go outside and like climb a fucking tree. Yeah. yeah. This is like much more like they put on like YouTube and draw a picture along with the YouTube and they play their video games or on their iPads. It's more like electronic shit, but they'll they can like entertain themselves. So you have yeah. artistic kids. They draw pictures that <laughs> YouTube tells them how to draw. <laughs> That's they, awesome. They're good listeners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> the other, so they, they, they got iPads, and then uh, I, guess, I guess their mom set them up with, like, an email address. So now they can iMessage. They don't have, like, a phone number, but they can text on iMessage. Oh, That's okay. my question. Do they have phones? How old are okay, they? Okay, so this is, we, I think we fucked it up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got them this Christmas. We got them Gizmo watches, which is, like, the new shit from Verizon for Young Children? kids, okay. where you can you have a, a watch on your phone, a phone on your watch that can send like voice messages. It can send little short videos, and it can send pre-written text messages that are like, uh, "Hi, yes, no, pick me up." Oh, that's cool. okay. We Children. had those. Yeah. Right. How old are your kids? I never Eight got one. But. Okay. But then we got them new iPads for Christmas. They had like tablets. She, or their mom, got them iPads for Christmas, and that came with like. Uh, Apple ID, you know, when you set oh, up your yeah. iPad, and, you and then that becomes iMessage. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. now all of a sudden, they basically just have like a phone because you can FaceTime mm-hmm. and iMessage. Oh, I saw so, it the other day. <laughs> so then, so you. <laughs> so Shay is like, Shay's like my shining star, like perfect baby. She texts me like in the morning. She's like, I love you, Dad. Have a great day. Oh. Like all this shit, you know. And then Keegan, <laughs> Keegan like gets back to me a little later, like. <laughs> Five days later. <laughs> and uh, so I'm like, hey, Keegs, like, what's up, man? Like, I think it was literally like seven days later. He writes, what do you want? <laughs> like, Damn. Oh and God. I'm like, hi, hi to you too, buddy. <laughs> and then we have a conversation. He's misspelling some words. Obviously, he's still sick, so he doesn't know. Idiot. So I was like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? He goes, why did the man do that? That's what he says to me. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> but I was like, Who, what man? What are you talking about? And so we had kind of like a miscommunication. And then he wrote, why don't we just say goodbye to each other? <laughs> I was like, yeah, God. sounds good, bro. <laughs> sounds good. See you later. He's really pissed off at whatever the man did. Yeah, <laughs> you had a bad day, huh? You're sick, that man. <laughs> what, what, what could possibly be so bad? You're sick. I'm done with you. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know about so, the man. Don't, don't have kids so you're fucking ready, man. Oh, yeah, that's terrifying. Because actually- he ain't just picking up and going to Paris. <laughs> no, no. Or Dude, I just want to be you know, rich enough to have a nanny. Like a, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got, like, by the grace of God, literally the best thing that's ever happened to me. Like, luckier than bar, still luckier than anything. When we moved out of the city, uh, this, uh, our, our nanny is this Irish woman off the boat, happened to just be switching families, like, at the time we needed it. And I will probably like literally pay her forever. Oh yeah, like yeah. It's nice when to my have kids a nice are like Irish twenty, lady. I think <laughs> yeah. like a little bro. She's, she is so it's it's like it's it's absolutely like having another mother for the kids. She's like so involved with them that I'm like I don't even know what you'll do once they're of age to take care of themselves. But like you're you're in the family. You're locked in. It's yeah. like the mob. I'm like you're not leaving. <laughs> you're, I will just pay we you to just to. be around. <laughs> uh, I, no, I, I, she could she she could come to me tomorrow and be like quadruple my rate and I'd be like I gotta do it I don't know. my kids I are attached to you yeah oh, I wouldn't yeah. be saying it's... that out loud <laughs> yeah, I, know. Like, I, I always sound like I hope you don't listen to the podcast <laughs> have you ever seen the episode of 30 Rock with 
when Jack Donaghy's negotiating with his uh, child care yes. person. She's a Jamaican woman, uh-huh. and he's like, "I." Uh, she's like, "I need fifty thousand dollars more, or whatever." And Jack's like, "I can't pay you that." And she just starts peeling apples. She goes, "So what do you want to do?" <laughs> and he's <laughs> like, "Okay, never mind." <laughs> and then Jack, as the CEO, yeah. just takes her negotiation tactics. <laughs> so he's doing business meetings. With so what do you want to do? <laughs> I took that show for granted when I was younger. Uh, I re- I'm rewatching really watch it, it now. I know. I got to go back. I, I really, I've only seen like a couple episodes here and there. It's, He's always, he, he quotes it more than any show. It's, on, it's, yeah, the, it's it. not the, maybe it's not the best show. It's well written. Of, of the NBC shows. Yeah. But it's the funniest. Yeah. Right? Like they're like the other, the Parks and Rec and the, the Office have like maybe some better storylines, but like 30 Rock has like joke for joke. Hands joke for down joke. The best. I I um I'm a fucking idiot, and I just realized that it's like based off of SNL. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. my whole life, I was like, oh, this is like a cool show. And I was like, oh <laughs> shit, dude, and you love SNL. No shit, they're all from SNL. It's Thirty Rock. I mean, it's the name of the fucking film. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> so stupid, dude. Shane Gillis is hosting SNL. Yeah, dude, that's how crazy. insane is that? That's full wild. circle, man. Now it's like gonna be funny. It just yeah. goes to show that like. It's all business in the end. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they had to cancel it at the moment, but they probably didn't want to. They probably, you know, just give it a year, give mm-hmm. it five years, whatever it was. I don't yeah. know. And it'll come just on back. Just become a megastar. You can come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, that's a huge part of it. But that's what I mean. It's all business. It's like yeah. it never was about any. It was just about pleasing the audience mm-hmm. and pleasing the, the crowd because it wasn't like, oh, he's not talented. Uh, it wasn't like we didn't want you. It was like we just can't. And then as soon as everything died down enough and you got big enough when we could, we did. Yeah. So it's it's, yeah, it's, it's all a fucking game. Kind of like a, a larger version of Mincy where it was like, look. <laughs> got got was like, I don't want to You know what? You, I like, always say I Shane Gillis and play. Mincy. <laughs> very yeah, similar. Exactly yeah. the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like brought him back as a brick watch employee. <laughs> yeah, you're not a, you're not a uh, employee, but you can host it. <laughs> that was so funny. I love Mincy so much. Was it, was it you who said, sorry to... Go back a second. Uh, that that day, uh, Shane and Taylor were alike. It was like a sheet. It was on our sheet for BFFs. It was a tweet where it was like oh, Shane so Gillis is the okay. male Taylor Swift or okay. the Taylor Swift for guys. Yeah, yes, because like everyone just all guys love him. Which I, I we talked about it very briefly on the rundown yesterday. I I think that's actually a very apt comparison. Me too. Where like because it, particularly because the people who are mega fans of, i think most people really enjoy both mm-hmm. and the people who are mega fans of both can't even fathom that someone else likes the other person yes right? yeah <laughs> like, like, like exactly like, that. they are opposite ends of the yeah. spectrum yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like the, the mega fans think both are like geniuses and i do think both are geniuses but both are like they can't accept the fact that there is another genius in some other field in something else yeah so so different yeah yeah Yeah. Yeah. we tried to get shane on while we just assumed he'd be here for uh super bowl tried to get him on he said uh, we said uh, what did i say i said uh hey would you want to come on the pod during super bowl week and he said i don't know when i'm gonna be there i'm like all right um (laughs) i replied i was like oh like it's cool just like let us know but like if you don't fuck with us that's cool too and it, it, it <laughs> left me on red on that one <laughs> that was tough. i mean it's got to be the most requested podcast appearance know, guy course. in I the world right now so, yeah. <laughs> hey, don't worry we'll get flavor flavor we right? should one yeah, beer no, one time and I, just, I thought we were pals <laughs> do you hey, think that are. snl movie's gonna be good SNL movie. There's an SNL movie uh, it's called, it's called like snl 1975 or something like that or 1975 yeah, yeah, yeah. it's about like Aykroyd, uh belushi these are guys we probably don't even know, but like the original. Hey, yeah, you, watch yeah, yourself. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I saw the cast for it the other day, and it was like not too good. Oh, I really? Like it was cast well. I forgot. But I think, I, I want to say it's like A24, something like that. Oh, it's is like, it? Maybe not A24, but I thought it was like a good studio. A24 and it's, a good, it's obviously a good Story. topic, yeah. you know? Yeah. But it's one that like I think you're either going to like nail it or it's going to be like. You yeah, you can't do, do that wrong. Dude, yeah. I, saw, I saw a clip of, uh, signed for, of uh, Larry David the other day talking about when he was on SNL. And I forget what year it was, but it was one of their bigger years. Like I, I think it's considered one of the best years. Uh, it was Billy Crystal, Julia Louis Dreyfus. I forget a couple other people. And uh, I didn't realize that he had he had the story when Castan. I don't know if you guys know Seinfeld. Well, I might be talking to nobody I, right now. I, don't know I, I personally can't stand Seinfeld. Really? Yeah, I'm with her. I, I'm sick. Did you, I, I don't like. You sitcoms. watched it and don't like it. Yeah, or my you parents used to watch it and I hated it. Like Kramer yeah. is just like, oh come on. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> but do you like Curb? Yeah. 
Because Curb is like Costanza. Yeah. So which is Costanza was based Seinfeld on Larry David. I was too young. Right. Yeah, that, the, I was gonna say this too. is just not. It, yeah, like it's not for your. Larry David had quit Seinfeld. Had quit SNL, which I didn't know, and then just went back on Monday. Like it didn't happen. Oh and really? That's, that's where the Costanza storyline comes from. Oh, where he just it, didn't. It was. Like, he, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like, uh, he's like, I had lo- I, I hadn't gotten a single sketch in. And and he was it was Stern interviewing him. He's like he's like yeah, and it was the best year. And Robin's like you're not really helping the cause that he didn't get any of his sketches, and it was the best year. Right, right. <laughs> and he's like and I just snapped. And I was like this show stinks. I hate it here. Blah blah. blah. He's like and I'm walking home, doing the math in my head about how much money I just cost myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to my apartment, and my neighbor Cosmo Kramer. Uh, goes just go back Monday and act like it didn't happen. <laughs> he's like, he goes, I go to the writing meeting Monday. I'm the fifth person on the couch. So I go, Larry, what is your idea? And he's like, I was thinking maybe like a circus type. <laughs> and he's like, and it was just fine. Oh, that's incredible, <laughs> well, bro. Because you gotta, awesome. you gotta think, man. Like if you that that's what year was that? I want to say it was early '80s. But okay, so then it is like that was probably like the like. One one thousandth most ridiculous thing that happened on that set, like yeah. in that era. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I just saw uh, uh, Ed O'Neill, who's Ted, Bu- uh, not Ted Bundy, Al, Al Bundy, <laughs> yeah. and and the then the grandpa on yeah, Modern, Modern Family. Family. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he was on a podcast a couple years ago, telling a story about Chris Farley. Chris Farley at a Super Bowl party at John Lovitz's house. You know who that is? I don't know John, John Lovitz. Lovitz. So he's, he's like one of those SNL guys, and. Um, Chris Farley's eating like all the food, and John Lovitz is like, "You're fat. Like, stop. Leave some for the rest of us. Like, you're so fat." And Ed O'Neill said, "Like, everyone starts watching the Super Bowl. No one realizes that Farley is nowhere to be found." He came back. He took an Italian piece of Italian bread, cut it like the long way, put all the condiments on it, and put John Lovitz's cat <laughs> in between the bread <laughs> and started taking bites of the bread, going, "I'll eat whatever I want on Super Bowl <laughs> Sunday." <laughs> So like <laughs> these guys were fucking maniacs. We were all on see. drugs too. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Wait, wait, he he was he got out of rehab for the day to go to the Super Bowl party. Uh, <laughs> fucking insane. You can't do and that. Just tell the story. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, so that like that that I mean that was probably even later. That's like nineties and, and into the two thousands. But like seventies, eighties, nineties, SNL was probably. Fucking no cell phones, no TMZ, no Dude, social imagine media. Imagine the shit that Superstars, happened. drugs, like you know, you're not worried about fentanyl. At the beginning, you're probably not worried about AIDS. The, like, there's so many things where it was just like, let's just fucking yeah. go. And that's New York's like when like Hollywood alive. is cool too. Oh, yeah. Best, yeah. When there's no paparazzi, there's just crazy celebrity shit. Yeah. yeah. Now you can't go out and do anything. How you, I, I, I feel like you're. you're uh, I I, talk, I didn't tell the, the Hollywood Reporter story. The, I read a, <laughs> I read a story in the Hollywood Reporter once that was like it talked about how social media was the death of celebrity nightlife. Yeah, and there's always one night that they talk about that sticks sticks out to me where it was like someone running I forget the name of the bar, but it was the mm-hmm. woman who owned like three bars was telling this doing like the expose and it wasn't like revealing anything outlandish. It was mm-hmm. just like yeah, we'd party and like everyone would go crazy. But she's like, there was one night where. Jay Z and Kanye were standing on the stage, but like it was like a bar, so it wasn't really a stage. Yeah. Stage, but like Jay Z and Kanye were on stage performing. Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis, that '70s show was at this table. <laughs> uh, Britney and Justin Timberlake were dancing. Uh, Beyonce was running single ladies. Uh, with Dude. not single ladies, but she, her, she and, her and Destiny's Child were doing their dance. <laughs> so maybe, maybe her, her no, that was, was single ladies. The single ladies. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> there was someone else. Oh, like it was like Jason Momoa and the Friends cast was over here, and then Prince was just sitting in the back drinking water, watching it all. And she was like, "Oh, and Justin Timberlake was running the door." Dude, and, what? <laughs> and she's like, "That was like she's like that was a night that sticks out to me, but like that wasn't that irregular." That's like, so that sick. Was, yeah. That's like a sick dream. Yeah. Like, oh, dude, you won't believe it was in my dream last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fever dream. And right, all right. the groups stick together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so all sick. Oh, that's yeah, you can't just Ashton be a Kutcher million videos. Said it was TMZ. It was like the, yeah. day, the day that we started to like leave the club and there were TMZ in your face. Like, we stopped doing it. And then, because I asked, I, I thought it was phones. I thought like cell phones. Yeah, yeah. He was like, no, the demise was really before that. It was, uh, it was, uh, Paparazzi and shit. Yeah, and then and then uh, we had um, Cypher Sounds, who's a DJ and a comedian on our show. He DJed all through like the '80s and '90s and 2000s, and now does comedy. And he said that the death of clubs was bottle service. So between TMZ, mm, ah. TMZ phones, and bottle service, like it used to be, like you were at a party and yeah. there was dancing. There was a dance floor. And there was a bar. And there was booths and people sat, but you did whatever you wanted. And then it became. Uh, 
I, you know, I spent fifty thousand dollars a year. Look at me, yeah, mm-hmm. because spectacle. I want the picture yeah. for TMZ. So it's all like this one big cycle to wow. look cool, spend money, and rather than just have fun. Yeah, because like yeah. you're not really having like, fun at a club, really. No, you're no. As, as especially a DJ, bottle service, not he was fun. like people used to be dancing. Yeah, yeah. like if you saw a clip now of like guys and like like the famous people in the club dancing no it's like you just you'd be like, like they're dancing wow. yeah right yeah. right it's that like, actually looks pretty fun <laughs> yeah we should do this more often did you we see that, that the viral video fairly recently of like it was a club that was opening but it was like it was before like it was an empty club and it was just like oh there, yeah there wasn't a there was not a dance just they tables, filled the right? dance floor just, with booths and it was like I think I think it went viral because someone was just like, "God damn, you guys really kill clubs." This looks like a call center. Yeah, <laughs> it really, like, holy all, shit! It was all lit, like all the, the the floodlights were on, so it was like regular lighting. And it was like, "Oh yeah, that looks exactly like a call center right now." Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. was. Cypher no Cy- Cy- said he would be like, "Where's where am I DJing? Where's the dance floor? Like, where is it?" And they're like, "No, no, no." Yeah. I'm like you're doing it right here. He's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, it's I, just I, people at their tables going, uh. right? Yeah. Uh, or uh, even worse is like just like mean mugging, just being like, "I'm cool," you know? Yeah. yeah. Or have like a mask on or some dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, everything's performative because you're performing for TMZ or mm-hmm. the camera or whatever. It's like there's nobody just being like chill anymore. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's like at a point now, even when you when you're out and you see a celebrity at a table, you're like, I kind of feel bad for him. Yeah. yeah. Like it's like. <laughs> You, you can tell the, no one around them is like like their actual friend and they're just right. kind of there for a picture. Right. Well, anytime yeah. you're out too, you got to be like on alert and yeah. like, you know what I mean? They're never they're never just relaxed. Yeah. yeah, you can't just chill because you think someone's recording you. You guys are kind of in the, you guys got like behind the, the curtain right now though. I feel like you guys are kind of like, uh, you're like, you're like moles. Like we're sending you in. That's what it feels like. Yes. Like, tell us what happened. Yes. You know? I literally feel like a mole. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fuck not. Yeah. What the fuck? The only time we were, the only reason we were running clubs so much was, well, because it was a blast. We actually did have fun. Yeah. But, um, and, and it's in past tense now because we don't really club, but uh, we also were friends with a promoter. So we were just, yeah. We, yeah. we were actually good friends with a promoter. People don't usually say that. Right. Usually promoters right. like you this run asshole. away. Yeah. 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 We're yeah. friends with the asshole. No, but even beyond beyond the club life, like getting you know, getting to the, go to these award shows and some of the parties that come along with it is like, I didn't think, I didn't know, I don't even know how you get into that world, but I guess, I guess you can do it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's just so like they just want social media people there to yeah. post the right, famous right, people, right, which is like right. th- it just goes back to this, like a cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Weird. famous I mean. friend always helps too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's just going so technique. fast for you that like, I mean, it's it's just weird that you guys are now like stars, but literally, like I said, eighteen months ago, we're like. Yeah, just have Grace and, uh, Grace and Brie come by, and we'll just like do a podcast. And we we'll still I mean? run it back like that again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's but it's like fun. also that's like we'll squeeze you in in between the Grammys. <laughs> 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 that is that is a wild. Fact. Once you're getting uh, Getty photos, you know. <laughs> <laughs> once oh, they dude, once they know your name, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, I was on Getty as soon as as soon as they dropped in yeah. the did morning. You, did I was you like, have to buy your own pictures? Or did you steal them? I just I just post them with the watermark. You can save them with the watermark. Yeah. Oh, for free. Yeah, for free. For free. It just has that Getty Images bar, but I, I almost like, like that. It's yeah, like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Like I'm on flex. Getty Images. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, um, they're like three hundred dollars though. I went to yeah, go buy it. I'm like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> His dress was three hundred dollars. That, <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny world to live in, where you're like, I have people taking really expensive pictures of me. I cannot afford that. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. what that's I mean. Weird you're, limbo. You're in that, <laughs> yes. It's that in between world. It's only up from here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, seven kicks, we got it. <laughs> yeah, that's dude, that's still, that's still a valuable option. <laughs> that's not even a word. Uh, no, it sounded, it sounded good. <laughs> yeah. It sounded uh, smart. We have a game for you guys. A game? A game? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. let's Ooh. do it. Before we get into the game, though, I, I do, I do want to say um, I'm kind of pissed you told the pineapple story. Because yeah. we had that on lock because I texted your sister asking for some juicy juice about you that nobody else would know. <laughs> she gave us a list. So I, I, if we could read the list, that would be... And, she told, and she told the pineapple story? Pineapple was on pineapple. No Get the way. fuck out! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are the yeah. chances? That, that literally just randomly came up because at the house, he was eating pineapple yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Weirdly, like, when you said that, me and Grace look at each other like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> fuck if you, if you, sense. <laughs> That's if you crazy. watch it back, Bro, you're telling the story. <laughs> Ten years of the podcast, he's never told the story. <laughs> he tells it that 12 hours before you were going to do it. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you told us and we both go, damn it! You didn't notice, 
but it looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try to casually bring up things that no one would know about you. Yeah, and like that and slip it into, and you'd be like, wait, what? Uh, you ever eat pineapple so much your tongue gets swollen? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about that. <laughs> that would be absolutely crazy. <laughs> but the list is hilarious. It is hilarious. Oh, I can't even imagine. This is from Neely. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, Paulina. Yeah, yeah. I call her nearly. Oh, yes. That's right. I always get that confused. I, I, th- it's there, hard, there's yeah. a chance that I don't know any of the stories on those lists. I know every story about Fido Bird, and then every <laughs> like six Moore. months he tells one that I'm like, how have you never told me that? <laughs> and that's happened every every few months for 10 years. So I can't even imagine. I'm curious if you will know these. She started off with, uh, oh, oh, man, this dude's an open book. <laughs> here's what I brainstormed. One. Eight, it was number one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did she describe it? Um, <laughs> ate so much pineapple he couldn't speak when he was younger. <laughs> <laughs> a fat tongue. <laughs> <laughs> no, turn the door, mom. Turn the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, bought the smallest dog in land named Lola to protect him after someone broke into his apartment while he was on the toilet. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't think I knew you bought a dog because of that. I I think she's conf- confusing things. I think I got the dog before <laughs> that. I could be. I could be wrong. You also um, kidnapped a dog by accident. I've kidnapped a dog before. Ooh. Um, but the uh, named it Eleven. It was when Stranger <laughs> Things was popping. <laughs> no, no. Oh, this is recent. I, Where'd it go? I thought <laughs> I yeah, rescued the dog. I, th- I actually might have been on mushrooms that night. Uh, <laughs> Just I stealing th- dogs. I thought I, I thought the dog was wandering. I was in Newport, Rhode Island, and I thought the dog was wandering the street and i was like oh my god this poor fucking dog and like we had like a legitimately romantic night together like we went we went to the water so i fucked this dog <laughs> yelled, man. Like, she was just walking with me and like we were swimming in the ocean and I, I had other people with me and they were like holy shit john's got i was like we got a dog now and then like the next morning i woke up the dog was sleeping on my chest I woke up to like a rapping on the door, like, and it was my neighbor. I was like, "Where the fuck's my dog?" Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, I kind of think you should like like have like a <clears throat> legal right to that dog. <laughs> yeah. If you have a night like that with a dog, and they didn't even know where their dog was, you should be the owner of the dog. Yeah. How did he find you? Uh huh. How did he find out? I I think he's probably just like, "Is that fucking drunk that next dude. door stole my dog?" <laughs> <laughs> it was probably the third time it happened. Yeah. He's fucking my dog again. <laughs> but, like if it was like an '80s '90s movie, like it would have been like. A montage of me and the dog playing fetch on the beach. Oh, yeah, like, we were rocking. We were having fun. <laughs> oh shit, it's um, beautiful. But, yeah. Uh, then I got, I got. That was in Tallahassee. The other dog. Where, uh, no, but then, the and then dog. the third part of that story is he, you were on the toilet when those guys were robbing your house in, in your in college, and you just. Close the door. That's a, that's a like, good fear. Go I was on the same thing. I was on the toilet playing Brick Breaker because I had a Blackberry. <laughs> and I hear my front door get kicked in. And I was like, oh boy. And I, I, I got up and like waddled to the bathroom door. And I looked out and I saw three dudes in masks in my, in my uh, living room. And I just closed the door and went back, and sat back down. I was like, they'll be out soon. <laughs> Rob my house blind. Insane. Hey guys, we've been robbed. <laughs> That's like it's, the scene in the town. Yeah, the yeah, guy's yeah. Just like, All right. <laughs> the, the cops came. They were like, "What did they look like?" I was like, "They were in masks." And they were like, "What color were they?" And it was a black cop and a white cop. And I was like, "I don't know." <laughs> and then the black cop just goes, "Son, did he look like me or did he look like him?" <laughs> <laughs> Try and investigate. Yeah. Here. That's funny. All right, I should know she color. <laughs> <laughs> All blind. <laughs> uh, next one is uh. Oh, yeah. Hi- this is what I want. I wanted throughout the podcast to call you feats. Yeah. Because your high school friends used to call you feats and you never corrected them. It was Dave. Dave. Dave, oh. like, yeah, Dave, Dude, called, Dave, Dave called him feats until like 2018. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Dave would call me Fiedelberg it, like, for a long time. Like, well, she, she just went through this with Planet yeah. Brie. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That was, that was that, when, when I saw that mm. clip. I mean, he called fights feats. He called Coley Cooley, <laughs> McCulkey Culkin. It's a miracle he says the letters in my name right. Like, but when he went, when you went, you know, Plan Bree, it's like a play on words, and he went, yeah. <laughs> the funniest. And the ca- he pulls back, and the camera, I was howling. He just went, oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. <laughs> that was so funny. By the way, Planet Bree is kind of a cool brand. I know. Like, cool. You should just, like, that could be it's the name Planet or a Bree spinoff now. or whatever. Like, welcome to Planet Bree. <laughs> That um, was great, though. After after that, we had the little like happy hour for Erica in the office, mm-hmm. and Dave came up and uh, like we're we're talking, and I just had a, I, every time I talk to Dave, I just lose it. Um, <laughs> I just get so nervous, and I don't know what the fuck comes out. <laughs> and the whole conversation went, uh, "Hey, how you doing?" I'm like, "Oh, good, good." He's like, oh, "That guy over there kind of looks like boyfriend." I'm like, 
who Shane Gillis? He goes, what? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you meant Brianna's boyfriend? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> And he's like, why did you say Shane Gillis? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and he goes, that guy over there looks like Bree's boyfriend. And you said Shane Gillis? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. Um, yeah, no, it totally does. And he's like, anyways, I can't believe I thought it was Planet Bree. And I'm like, yeah, even s- like you saying that, it coming out of your mouth, doesn't that sound stupid to you? And I was like, oh my God, what did I just say? <laughs> he's like, I don't think it's stupid. I don't think it sounds stupid. I'm like, oh. It was so good talking to you, Dave. I think I gotta go in the bathroom. I'm gonna talk to Shane. <laughs> yeah. Shane. Oh, it was a terrible interaction. I, didn't know that happened. Oh, I forgot to tell you That's that one. Crazy. <laughs> it was it was not good. It was tough. Um, How have you been doing with Dave? I feel like I mean, I've I've done Barcelona radio with Dave. I've done a million rundowns with Dave. If you're on a consistent show with Dave, it's mm-hmm. not easy. No, it's not. But he, I feel like he has a soft spot for me. Yeah. yeah. So he's pretty nice to me. But yeah. I know I'm gonna get torn to shreds today because I didn't say hi to Taylor Swift for him. Uh, and I tried, I, I but what the fuck hear, do you want yeah, me? To, I can't. Yeah, he was yeah. saying like mm-hmm. uh, BFFs is going to be. It's just going to be all that. But like, so he's going to be like, I wanted you to <laughs> tell Taylor Swift about me. I think yes. <laughs> the most <laughs> Dave thing. <laughs> yeah. As I was saying that, I was like, get yeah, it checked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But does she know me? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hey, uh, you didn't ask Taylor Swift about me. <laughs> imagine, like, that's for sure what he's going to be like. Did you tell about pizza? <laughs> Dude, oh, I know. She has to know pizza reviews. One right? end would be like, so are you like high noons? Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was interesting. So when when she almost drank high noon first, he was like, "Oh man, we were so close to it." I and then she eventually did, right? Yeah, she did. I don't think that really changes high noon much. I think high noon is so big. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's already there. I think like, do you think that was like a big deal for high noon? Um, I would think no, but also like everything Taylor, Taylor. Does is so like I just think that anybody who would have been like geeked out about that already is drinking high noon. That's that's yeah. true. It's I, almost I, a I testament would, to how big high noon is. Like I would definitely lean towards that yeah. for sure. Like I don't think like all of a sudden they sold a million more cases. Yeah, yeah. Like, like if Taylor has a Stanley gla- cup, like right, like, if you're like oh Stanley cups are gonna go nuts. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. They already did. Yeah, yeah that's going true. crazy. Yeah, that's right. true. Yeah. What else we got? I can't believe she's messing them all up. Like, I know, just like bits and no, pieces. No, I, I, this is perfect. This is so I, I, I might have had some high school friends calling pizza, but it was definitely a Dave thing. <laughs> the one I remember the most. Uh, you sold all your textbooks in college to go ski? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely checked. Yeah. 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 Son, what do you want this money for? Ski. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, yeah. College no. wasn't Vital Break scene. I did not. I hated college. I didn't like college I either. Hated it. I did community college and then the four-year thing and then dropped out. I, I like I I think I was you ahead of my time. Uh, I I I dropped out on a whim. She was coming to Barstool, and I was like, I one day. <laughs> yeah, you. Like, well, at least you guys dropped play, out. Man. You I made was, a great yeah. play. They were like, you're probably all set with this. Are you still paying student loans? <laughs> no. Good for you. No. <laughs> nice. Oh, you got you got it like that. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, <laughs> it was also two years ago for you. <laughs> He's like 50. That's true. <laughs> Like fifty. <laughs> she said that yeah. so casual. He went to that wasn't an infirmary, bro. <laughs> he he went to an so that was meant to be like a shot or anything. She just said that. That was not That's like tough. I'm gonna clown fight. She Dude, said I always he's like fifty. Like twenty five, and then you say shit, and I'm like, no, he's not. <laughs> um, you used to call your neighbor Mr. Lope instead of his real name, Mr. Lopes, because there was only one of them. <laughs> I don't think I knew why I did it. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> she, she answered for <laughs> you. They, they had a neighbor or someone in the neighborhood who would come to the front door and knock on the door and ask to play catch with John as a little boy. Did he have autism or something? He was no, an, adult? He was an, an adult. adult. Oh, an adult. He came like out of the woods, right? <laughs> he, was my, he was my Little League baseball he coach. Walked at, oh. uh, li- he was a Little League baseball coach. Coaching a team without a kid, oh. without a son on the team. Yeah, it sounds like some Boy Scout shit. Yeah. And then yeah. walked up to the front door, came like literally out of the woods, oh. knocked on the front door, said, can I play catch with John? Uh, Polly said, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, dad's not home. So <laughs> dad comes home <laughs> and sees a random man playing catch with his son in the fucking front yard and goes, 
What the fuck is going on here, Polly? Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> That's got to make you oh shed a tear God. as a father and then get mad. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm missing out on opportunities my, with my son. Dude, what happened to that coach? M- mind you, the coach came in full uniform. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like this guy, bro. Yeah. Sure. Uh, he's on a list. Oh, my God. God. That guy has to register on a list. Yeah. Just say that. I was on the Twins. He came in a full Minnesota Twins uniform. Oh, oh my God. Long ponytail. Oh, yeah. you had a long ponytail? Oh. No, he did. Oh, he did. That makes sense. <laughs> Obviously, he did. So, Fidelberg got raped in the forest. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a survivor. <laughs> wow. Well. For real. Oh, God. Mr. Lope, I like how I had a grasp on singular and plural. There's yeah. only one of them. <laughs> well, she, Smart. she also added that uh, he did the same thing with Twix. If he if he wanted one, he'd ask for a Twix. <laughs> You're such a Because Twix asshole. is plural. <laughs> Mom, can I have a Twix? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, those were good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe the pineapple thing. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that is so weird. Number that one. Is so wild. That's crazy. <laughs> First never told that story? No. I, I'm sure it's come up. I don't Dude, know. Not, a, not with like, me. I just ate pineapple yesterday, and I was like, oh, yeah. this one, It gave me PTSD flashbacks. I was like, oh, yeah. I used to eat so much this, I would cry. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think you might have been allergic at one point? Uh, not until right now. <laughs> not until right now. We didn't go to doctors. Right. That's true. You don't, that don't know. <laughs> Allergies are for pussies. Yeah. <laughs> Truly. Okay, want to play our game? Yes. All right, guys. Quick commercial break. I know you know Bon Jovi. No, I love that guy. But have you heard of Jovi? This is the real OG. This is what we need. Tell me something. Okay, I'll tell you exactly. You've ever had period cramps? All the time. Do they hurt? Ouch. You get them in your belly, get them in your back. Where do you get them? Like front and back. Me too. Everywhere. And what? there's really nothing that can help it, right? But I feel like there might be. Yeah, wrong. Because it's not right. Because Jovi's here. Want me to explain <laughs> to you exactly what it is? Please do. Okay, here we go. So this podcast is sponsored by Jovi. Thank God. Because I always have my period cramps. You know, I went through a phase of three years where I didn't get my period because mm. I was on birth control. Then it came back and it's the worst thing on planet Earth. These have saved me. These it comes really, for revenge. These really have saved me. So it's a reusable, flexible patch that helps to reduce the impact of pain from just about anywhere you're feeling it during the phase of your menstrual cycle. So purchase Jovi once and you get an entire year of relief. Wow. You just need one box of it and it's enough to get you through a period of all year. Oh, that's huge. That's a simple buy to I know. save everything. Yeah, and it's affordable too. So with Jovi, you simply pinpoint the pain, place the Jovi patch, and then power through your period. Mm. There's no refills, okay? And it's there's no wires. So you don't need to hook up to anything. There's no like plugging it into the wall. It's just on your skin. I hate gadgets and gizmos. No, this is easy. This is back to the basics, okay? How many so, people has this helped? Um, too many that I can even count on my hands. That's like way too many. Wow. And it's it's not magic. It's science. Okay? Because people are like, how does this work? When placed on the source of your discomfort, the Jovi patch picks up the message your body is sending out, reducing the impact of pain. It's really that simple. So you can show up as your best self, even on your worst days of your cycle. That's huge. Okay? So here's what you guys can do. Jovi has helped tens of thousands of women like Oh, there fast, it is. Yeah. Thrive through every day of their cycles. If you want to become one of them, head to meet.jovi.com slash planbree and use code planbree for 40% off your order. That's right. 40% off. That's that's literally so much money off, and you only need to buy it once for a whole entire year of that's the period. Two twenty dollar bills. Yes, Grace. Once again, that's meetjovi.com slash backslash plan brief for forty percent off and make sure you use code promo plan brie so they know that we sent you. This has okay. been fun. Okay. I'll like chat with you guys. So if this is just guess your coworker. We're gonna give you oh, three shit. things, but we'll say the first one and you guess. Okay. And then we'll say the second one and you guess. So guess so, so there'll be um you guess a name. So there's there'll be three hints, but you guess at each hint. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, can I ask? Is it anybody? All content production. All, all content. content. All content. Okay. All content. Okay. This is the first one. Pretty. <laughs> Gotta guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think you're gonna set us up right now. <laughs> HR is gonna kick in the door as soon Bro. as we say that. <laughs> Is such a setup. I love this. If you think I'm answering a female, you're yeah, out of your yeah. fucking I just thought, mind. Honestly, I'll, I'll shoot you from the hip. First name came up, Spider. Okay. okay. Uh, no. Marty Mush. <laughs> okay, not. Second clue has a lot of shit to say about me. Oh, man. Yeah. This is getting tough, dude. The first one's hard. It's kind of just because we want to talk about her talking shit about me. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, like, Girl. I like that game. Well, we said pretty. <laughs> Hey, yeah, we already comped. Joey Cross is pretty. <laughs> it's true. Uh, wait, who's been talking shit about me? Uh, you, might, you might get it with the third, but you got to say a name. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got to say a name first. Well, now I might see who else is talking shit about me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to say Kelly right now because she's been talking a lot of shit about everything. But Okay, I like that. I w- that was going to be my guess as well. But I don't think she's okay. So you think Kelly's pretty? <laughs> <laughs> as okay. you should. Third clue, athletic. I have no idea who this is. 
comes to an athletic girl. Sydney Wells? No, that's a good guess, though. Good guess. It's in that uh, like area of girls, though. It's like not really there. Oh, okay. Um, Megan making money? Mm-mm. One more guess. Danny Jackal. No. Hannah Cook. Does she still oh, work? <laughs> oh, she still works here? That's what I, said. <laughs> I legit would not have considered her an employee. I, that would have, you could have given me a billion guesses. A billion. No, you could, I know, have, I you know. could have given me She's the bar shit about you. Okay, listen to this. Okay, so <laughs> oh, I'm a, yo, talk about uh, something she shouldn't be doing, <laughs> dude. And it I was would shut idiot. the fuck up if I was there. We were, I was at the Grammys, and I'm in the bathroom, and I was talking. Luke Combs, some lady that works for Luke Combs is like a big fan of mine. And she like wanted to take a picture or whatever. That, that was when we were at like our table. And then in the bathroom, I see her again. And she randomly goes, do you know Hannah Cook? And I'm like, yeah. She was like, what do you think of her? I'm like, oh, like super nice. Like, yeah, I work with her. And then she goes, oh, that's really funny because she didn't have anything nice to say about you. She I fucking hate that bitch. Like, Whoa. Like, I was crazy. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, well, if I if I knew you, I would have spoken honestly, but I don't know you. So like, I was yeah. Like, so now we can be real. Yeah. Now yeah. we're best friends. So we're yeah, in the girl's bathroom. Or anything happens. I was like, dude, that's fucking crazy. And then she just like went on about her. And I'm like, dude, I didn't even know she still works at Barstool. I, I was going to say, but you saying super nice it was like. You've never met Hannah. Yeah, <laughs> I, know. But I no. actually, I, I, Hannah, I also don't I really know Hannah. Hannah was to her though. Original, she was the originator of the Mean Girls. Shit. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll never forget that. That kind of got like because I like skewed to Brie uh, to um Caitlin Walker. Like immediately, I tweeted. I was like Team Caitlin Walker, Hannah Cook, yeah. Mean or something. But yeah. that got put onto like Alex, but it was really like Hannah. Yeah. Like Alex, uh, Alex was like blacked out, and Hannah was the one who was like. Get the fuck away. Yeah. And I'll and never like, forget, uh, she and answered the call from sense. Dave at the hair salon on like yes. a Tuesday yes. at 2 p.m. <laughs> that was yeah. insane. Like, yeah. Yeah. On the run down face <laughs> yeah. time. She's like, with what? The fucking, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I would well, never. Did she, did she, do we know what she specifically said about <laughs> no. you? No. Just that she didn't say nice things? I don't really care, but. but yeah. I was being I mean, so nice to her. And like, I would Grace would say stuff and I would like defend her because I felt bad for her. Everyone didn't like her. And I was like, no, she just has a mean face. Yeah, she was always like on her side. She was pretty like unlikable. Everyone yeah. I've ever again, I, That's I, why I felt know bad Hannah for her. From a hole in the wall. Yeah, I've like I don't even know if we've ever said hi. Everyone I've ever talked to is like she's the root, like like, only, like <laughs> yeah. they almost say it like laughing. Like, yeah, she's the rootest yeah. person. She's just like, so like, rude like, that crazy. it's like you comical. Know what it is though. I think I don't even know if she a girl like that like knows it. I feel like she's been pretty and just treated a certain way, and she's yeah. just like is so fucking oblivious. It's like you don't realize you're just being a dick right now. Yeah, yeah. I know. I've heard it from rude people who are like she's the rudest thing ever. I'm <laughs> like, like yeah, that's crazy. Something. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. I really thought you guys would get along. So, I don't know. I don't. I really don't know the status of her employment at the company right now. But if if she still is, I would. Uh, I would probably not be talking shit about Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever. But this is next? crazy. Um. All right. Next up for first hint, possible psychopath. <laughs> I mean, this is the yes, exact somebody? opposite. Like, it is, like, I, I, Could I, be I'll anybody. Be, I'll say uh, Rico. Francis. We can just like call Fran- I'll be Francis. Yeah, I'll take Francis. Right. Okay. Is very articulate. Francis. Yeah. All right. Is a redhead. <laughs> Nailed it. It's Kelly, Kelly Keegs. Keegs. Kelly Keegs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm about to switch. I was like, it's, it's not Francis, it's Kelly. That's, we set you up for that one. <laughs> Honestly, that should have been the name of their show. It should have been uh, Psychopath Articulate Redheads. <laughs> Every day at noon. <laughs> That's great. I still think they should do something together. They are uh, two peas in a pod, I think. Yeah. I mean, right now, yeah. they'll never they never have more, you know. More that, juice, uh, more heat, I think right. they call it in the right. iron claw. If they just had, they had a show called Redheaded Psychopaths. <laughs> That's good. I, I'd tune in for yeah. episode one. That's good. I'd tune in for one. <laughs> I honestly, I can't, I, I, I'm spilling juice right now, but I can't look at Francis the same after I did the reality show with them. Because he's a true psychopath. I saw a side I don't of him think psychopath I is the word. I think he's uh, broke. <laughs> yeah, like heck yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. When, when I don't. I don't, I always thought like a lot of that was a good joke. But then that show when he was like, I went to a dark place, <laughs> and I was like, Ah, oh, yeah, word. And he was like, No, I no. like. I, it was a place that I like I worked line. very hard <laughs> to get out of, and never wanted to come to that again. And I was like, Oh fuck. Yeah, okay. when I heard I that, I was to afraid to be sitting next to him. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Jesus yeah, Christ, he's gonna blow Yo, us. I want to say that show was like. We should have never done that show. Yeah, it was the crazy. fact that they put you guys through that, I think that was a Logan production where he was like, "Let's make torturous reality shows." He I w- almost killed myself the first season I did it. Mm-hmm. You had yeah. to send her. Yeah, the, in the fact that it was multiple seasons, like that was definitely. And I remember him because I did the Survivor shit with him, and some of his plans I remember being like, "This is just 
you're just pissing. You're just doing this to, like fuck with them. Yeah. Not he's like, in the back, go- like w- with a maniacal laugh. Like, yes, Mwah. and like and like they're making you sleep <laughs> in like the cold and shit. It's just like, like you just don't need to do this. Like that's not barstool. It's you know? not. Yeah, it's barstool. We're all gonna go to work together. Right. After. right. That's like, the right. thing. Yeah. It's yeah. not just a reality show where you could be fucked as a producer. Right. Like. <laughs> No, no one has ever done anything like that where you have to compete against each other, fuck each other over, sleep in those conditions, and then have to go to work on right. 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 with those right. skin guys. No, it's yeah. Like, I, I genuinely can't look at Francis the same. That's <laughs> that's wrong for the company. Oh, what, are you that's guys, bad morale. Are you guys going to do female celebrity, uh, female survivor? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I didn't even know that was that, going on. I'm, I heard I'm in for everything I, I, I'm all the almost time. positive Dave's going to try to make that happen. Yeah. Uh I am actually I'm that's gonna be fucked up. Yeah. For that. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Yo, like, wow. I am terrified to watch it as a fan, mm. let alone be in it. At least we have a job. I, yeah, I, I actually am happy Barstool Radio got canceled because I literally from the first time that was ever talked about, I was like, I do not don't want to be part of this, about this on the at all. Mm. Like, <laughs> like, I don't. I don't even want to like. Yeah, be like I was rooting for this person and not that person. Like no, yeah. <laughs> no. that is gonna be scary. Like how can you guys go back to work? At, like. Because I also think the prize is gonna, you know, I think everything's just gonna keep getting upped. Yeah. So like, Trip to let's Bora, say the Bora prize is like, yeah, like, I think the next time they want to do it, like, I don't know about an island, but like secluded somewhere, mm. and the prize is probably gonna be like a quarter of a million dollars, and people are gonna do terrible shit for that money. Terrible, and they're gonna be girls and then, are me. And then girls are gonna <laughs> be like the first girl who has to be like, yes, alliance. Mm. I'm not voting for you. Write that bitch's name down. It, pff, dead. There's, gonna like, there's gonna be a death on that show. I I, I actually think like in watching our Survivor. I don't think anyone ever did anything to fair. I think I think our our surviving was like actually pretty like fine. I mean, yeah, but uh, like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, like, I, mean, I don't think anyone really was like cutthroat. I, I well, the ultimate I guess because I don't really under- thing I, you can I, do is just like lie to someone about voting. You know, there's yeah. not like you can like like, hurt like I or- I think I, oh, I talked about it when we were doing Kirk, with doing Kirk show where it's like well we signed up to play football and people got tackled and whatever. Yeah. 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 It is what but it is. girls, yeah. I think it'll be different. Yeah. Just gonna like, be like, like I can, I can see words. Will and just be like, it's all good. Yeah. Can, like, through a knife, dude, right through my fucking the back. The first season, Kelly but, Keeks, like, wouldn't look at me forever. Right. I was yeah. like, dude, we have a <laughs> podcast right. together. <laughs> that podcast ended, so. <laughs> yeah, right. And that's and that was, like, a fraction of the attention this will get. Yeah. So, yeah. like. Yeah, it was terrifying. And I, I, I fucked over Jackie every chance I got when I, I did these games. I don't think she I don't think she looks at me the same. And that's. I, th- I think oh, Jackie. I'm pretty sure Jackie. I think Jackie. I just worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that like everything, there's probably like a two week period afterwards where yeah. people are like a little salty, and then you kind of settle back in. But all girls on that level, in in the fishbowl where all the audience, it's not even mm-hmm. like the people. It's like once the audience starts yeah. talking mm. and shit, it's like oh yeah, that's well, true. once you see the edit, you know, it's mm-hmm. like in the moment you're like ah, oh, you voted for me, okay, and then you watch the edit and it's like she's laughing about you in the uh, confessional. Uh, oh, exactly. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I don't know this about this show. Actually, thought we were gonna be friends. Yeah. Like, yeah, like even though, like I, I think I might ask if I can host. <laughs> I think everyone was only at least on our team. I forget the other team. But like everyone was like, this sucked. Yes, there, like, that's the difference. Yeah. I think there might be some like. Uh, more aggressive. Like every time I voted for somebody, I was like, I, I, I this is a necessary evil. Like I just gotta do it. Yeah. Mm. Not like, yo, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, girls is gonna be terrifying. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be malicious. Oh, we, we can lighten the mood. You guys gonna try to guess this? First, <laughs> first clue is often mistaken for an autistic person. Tommy, Tommy smokes. smokes. <laughs> Good guess. No, loves Molly like the drug. Ooh. Mincy. No, great guess. <laughs> yeah, loves Molly. <laughs> I don't know if Vince likes Molly. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think he does. He does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's sober uh, just from alcohol, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like, yeah. Just does hard, hard <laughs> drugs. I, I do intravenous drugs, but I don't drink. <laughs> uh, what's the next one? Uh, next one is hasn't posted on Instagram in nine years. So... So uh, autistic? TV? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I don't know about possibly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one, G. Next one is uh oh, literally gave me the shirt off of his back. You guys wouldn't even know this. This is just like a it's just hilarious. It's an additive. Happened. Joey Camasta. Pat. Nope. Uh sometimes just gentle. Who wears girl clothes. Sometimes quite violent. Some uh, Rico. Yeah. Yeah. Uses no? uses an alias. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Sometimes. Wait. Read that again. How'd you um, say it? Because that's a great way to sum him up. 
sometimes gentle, sometimes quite violent. <laughs> <laughs> that should be like trademark TM Rico Bosco. <laughs> Dude, we were in the studio, and Grace was like, I like your hoodie. He goes, oh, you do? Rips it off. Like, Ripped it off. <laughs> Which he's like, it like might be a little so sweaty, Rico, but. <laughs> it's such a Rico thing, because in his head, he's like, I'm doing something chivalrous for a girl. And in my mind, it's like, don't give this girl your dirty shirt. Dude. <laughs> you know? I, it was like, really you... nice. It, yeah. it said it's primal like... on it. <laughs> yeah. primal? Yeah. 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 And that was like the word of the day Rico, for me that day. <laughs> Rico, the problem with Rico, he was born in the wrong Generation. <laughs> when like, would she? When, like, when like would he, he, needs to, he needs to be like caveman. Time. <laughs> yeah. like, he's not born for the internet and all this shit. They would have been like a gladiator. Be like, yeah, like, I, like, I take care of women. I kill meat. I eat it. Like that's, that, he would be great at that. But oh. the nuance of life today, not for Rico Bosco. <laughs> that's so true. That's really true. Okay, last one. First clue. Dave's biggest fan. Fasoli. Oh, that no, was production. That's production. Uh, I would say Tommy. Tommy. Not Tommy. Backpack filled with pills. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait. Backpack filled with pills. Dave's biggest fan. Who's like team? Would you like a one? third clue? Well, the third yeah, one? Yeah. Not a munch. What does that mean? <laughs> Too old for that. I, I, I'm a Youngstown Bob, but he's also oh. not. But he is a munch. Yeah, not a munch. Um, <laughs> what does a munch mean? Munch means eat ladies' asses. Oh. Oh. Right? Doesn't eat ass? None. Or, or uh, eats vagina. You know what's sick is like, that's like my biggest clue. Yeah, who's a non-ass eater? <laughs> oh, that's that's got to be Joey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah. Dave's biggest fan. Bag full of. Yeah, that's Joey. My mind should gone there. Like, yeah. Yeah. A dude. <laughs> Dave's biggest fan is, is first guess we knew you were gonna say Tommy. Yeah. 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 That is great. Joey is uh, Joey is a fucking trip. He's man. not a munch. When he, whenever Dave's, he's like, "Hello, Mr. Portway. Yeah. I got I you your coffee that. or whatever." He's walking around high heels and shit. It's incredible. Joey, I did uh, the Out and About live stream, and Joey, I'd actually like to do this. I was the gayest guy on the Out and About stream. <laughs> Literally. I was on it. Uh, within 10 minutes, they had me in a bathing suit. Woman, yeah, they, they had me. <laughs> yeah, they were like, Johnny, you might put on a bathing suit? And I was like, yeah, if it was on the table. <laughs> uh, but uh, Joey was like, he's like, you wear, you're such a nice dresser. Like, I want you to dress me. <laughs> and I was like, you have such a nice apartment. Like, I'd like you to decorate mine. And I want to do, like do a little oh, swap. Oh, you should. Swap, yeah. 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 That'd be and sick. You guys, like, he does have a end. really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got married. It's great. Yeah, like, like, I actually love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. When when Joey first came to the office with Snooki, he came as a guest. Mm -hmm. And on you your know, show, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, and at that know. point, it was, you know, it was like, can Snooki bring her friend? And it was, was like, can yeah, Snooki sure. bring her makeup artist? And we were like, I guess. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and, <laughs> we were like, deal with makeup artists around here. <laughs> <laughs> Snooki was great, but like, Joey, you know, he stole so the show. Hot, but he walked in and was like, I want to suck all of your dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, whoa. And he was like, pointing, like, you, I'll suck your dick, I'll suck your dick, I'll suck your dick. <laughs> like, and dude, like, that's crazy. He was a trip. He was saying, I did the live stream with, I must have just missed you when you did the live stream because yeah, i went yeah. over after and he he it was past a certain point and he was <laughs> mile a minute mm. and he he hit it with yeah well i was just i was just blessed with the gift the gift of gab <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can't even say it as fast as he does he, he can't even Talks say it as so fast as he does i never said anyone talk that fast it's and crazy. he trips over his own words. it's incredible it's he's so really fast every time i get at the p when i come back i have to talk a lot <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's so <laughs> I love him so He loves much. to ski. So he, so <laughs> he does. Uh, that's a good game, girls. Good. Yeah. Like well, that. that was a good episode. Thanks for yeah, coming on, guys. Awesome. Thank you we so much. We should hang out more, guys. Yeah. 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 Say sure. the word. We're there. <laughs> yeah. Anytime. We'll party Thank tonight, you. Vegas. Party tonight. Let's party no, in Vegas. Are you going to Hank's thing tonight? What's that? Oh, yes. I want to go to that. What, what's Hank? Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 What time is that at? Eight. Doors at seven. Show at eight. Okay. Oh, perfect. We can ride after Flavor Flav. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> what a lineup today. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah. We'll see you guys there. Beauty. See Great. you there. Thank awesome. you.